Hello and welcome back to the another video of Open PY Excel. In this video, we are going to see how can we create bar charts in Open PY Excel. So we have already completed all of these videos in Open PY Excel. Today we are starting this topic: creating bar chart, creating pie chart, and creating line chart. Today in this video, we are going to see two how can we create 2D and 3D bar charts using Open PY Excel. For your information, Open PY Excel works only on Excel, it will not work on CSV on other and other data. Okay, so before I start the video, I would request you to hit the like button if you like the content of this video, because one like is a very big support for a YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Python. So first, let's have a look on the data. So this is the data. If you can see, there are different columns, but when you have to apply the bar chart mostly you should have the numerical data or you have to create those numerical columns like value or sum or count like that so what i have done is i have already created one pivot in this column in this sheet that you can see here these are all categories and these are all subcategories and here you have the total in another uh, pivot what we have we have simply count of categories if you don't know how to create how to automatically create pivot using open py excel i have already done a video on that you can find the link in the description let's see how can we apply a simple bar chart i will just add a new file bar charts so just to save the time i will paste the code and then i will explain so these are the libraries that you have to import these three things if you want you to this series is not required in this uh, example and then you have to load your excel from here you have to create one chart object and then you have to tell the type what type of bar chart you want for these values i will share the link of open py documentation you can understand other than columns which all are the attributes of this style also you can try applying 9 8 or 7 for that also you will find more details on the documentation and this title if you want you can change from here but i will keep the same as it is now main thing is about this reference how do you decide this reference so let me just show you so if you see i am starting this data from here row number but we don't want to take this total then how to ignore this total so you see I have taken maximum row 5 and minimum row 2 so it will start from here and it will take till here for reference sheet what I have done is I have taken minimum row 3 and maximum row 5 and column 2 so from column 2 we want our reference so this will be our reference so since i have not taken row number 6 it will not consider data from here okay just keep this table in mind and look at this reference i hope you can see the entire code on your screen right now and i will just run this code and let's see the So here is the output file. Okay, you can see the count of category and these all three has come. If you want, you can change this text and this title also. And if you will change the name here, count of category, this tile also will be changed. Okay, so this is how you create a 2D chart. And before I go ahead, if you you have you can give the if you want to put start the chart from H1 or B1, you can just change this index here. I will do that in the next, uh, and I will do that in the next run. Okay, so now this is one. Now let's go and see the 3D chart. So what we will do is first we will see how can we apply chart on this which you can see right now on your screen you see these three things 
practice in first line so we these three things three so these three things will come from first line in the data and we have to consider all of this as data so this is our data correct code and we are here we are loading the sheet and then here we are passing the reference for the data and for the titles so if you see from where our data is starting in this table It is starting from this range. So this is the range of our reference of the data that we need or that we are going to use. All right. After that, we have to give this column as a to use our titles. So titles we have given column number one, row number one and maximum rows 19. So this will be like this and then this okay i hope you understood this part these two lines and then we are just giving few of the attributes that in detail you will get on the document and i will leave the link for the open py excel document in description so you can go and have a look there all right now let's run this code and see the result I will open this so you can see the bar chart is created so this was the bar chart on multiple distributions now we will see the same bar chart on this small table and then we will see how does it come okay so basically what will be changed this range will be changed we have to change the sheet name just everything will remain same let's have a look so a starting point is so data where is the data data is starting from 2 to row number 5 and where is the title is starting from row number 3 to row number 5 so 2 to 5 and titles 3 to 5 i hope you are able to connect because this is the important thing now let me run this code and we will see the outcome how can we get the 3d bar charts in open py excel so open py excel has generated the output for 3d bar charts let's have a look sheet number four so you can see a beautiful and the detailed bar chart is available you can change this title if you want to change this one and you can see more attributes here to apply like which all are the other properties available for bar charts on the official document of open py excel bar chart so in the next video we are going to see next topic that is how to create so next video we are going to see the another topic how to create pie chart how to create 3d pie chart so hit the like button if you have not done so subscribe to the channel for more videos if you will share this video on your social media platforms that will be a big big help for us thank you very much for your time